Hey what's up Spartans welcome back to another Halo video now today's video we are going to be taking a look at the new season 6 update which has just been released and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on it and what I think about the new season so let's dive into it. So in this update T43 focused on adding more content in Halo 3 they've added new ODST armors which looks insanely good uh, they, are, they are much better than the Halo 9 armors. Uh, the Halo 3 customization is better than ever before it's so customizable now you can customize your back and have an axe or, or the legendary shield which looks so dope uh, they even added animated visors which looks incredible and not only animated visors but they've also implemented animated nameplates it looks so damn incredible so props to 343 for pulling this off it blows my mind how a 14 year old game is getting this amount of updates you know especially when these updates are free too you know i never thought i would see new content for Halo 3 the disappointment news that we've had so far in this update, uh, the new map that people they added in this update, which is called uh, Waterfall, uh, which is from Halo 9, and that was wasn't really officially released. Uh, if you guys don't know already, Waterfall isn't a, you know part of matchmaking, unfortunately. So it's so it's only for custom games, and Edge isn't in this update either. Um, I heard it had issues, so 343 had to uh, delay it, uh, which is quite a bummer. Uh, we don't really have an ETA when that's coming. Uh, and there's no V model adjustments in this update. Uh, they've delayed it uh, because of the feedback they've got, uh, which I'm happy about because I was not impressed on how the V model ad adjustments were and you know, how it was like in, in during the uh, flight test. Uh, there wasn't enough options to it. It was very limited. Like there's not much you can do with the V model. So hopefully, T43 you know does more to it. Uh, another downside: they've also delayed the custom server browser. T43 uh, said that they've had issues getting it working. We didn't even get to you know test it in the flight test, so it was better off you know being delayed. Uh, I know a lot of people who are going to be very angry by this, but I'm glad they've delayed it. You know, it must have been severe. I think that we're having you know a lot of trouble you know getting the server browser up and running. It probably had a lot of issues. Uh, so I'd rather have T43 taking their time uh, on it than pushing it. Uh, so yes, uh, we are going to be, we're going to have to be more patient, you know, uh, just hang in there guys, we're almost there, just hang in there. Okay, now moving on to the exciting stuff, let's take a look at Halo CE, and oh boy, they finally fixed it, an issue where in all the Halo CE cutscenes, everything was locked at 30 FPS, uh, which looked very choppy, and it wasn't watchable, but now it's no longer stuck at 30 FPS, so you can watch the cutscenes at 60 FPS, 60 FPS and over. Uh, and they even brought back the uh, black balls too, uh, so everything is running at higher FPS now. So I'm very happy for 343 uh, fixing this. I do hope uh, also like they also fix the uh, uh, the shaders, you know, you know the trans shaders transparent and the bumps and stuff. There's still a lot of stuff they still need to fix, but this is a uh, this is the uh, uh, the right direction they're taking. So I really hope they do take a lot of notes from the refund version mod uh, because that version. Uh, uh, it plays just like the uh, original version that Munja made in 2001. So I do hope, uh, you know, one day we see uh, this version. So they mentioned about Halo's anniversary will be sporting Halo custom edition maps, but only the maps that were made by the official tools. To be honest, I was trying to run uh, one of the Halo Custom Edition maps into Halo C Anniversary, but it kept on showing me the effect of error. Uh, not really sure, not really sure where I'm going wrong with this. Uh, but if you guys manage to get your map working, please do let me know down in the comments below. I would love to know uh, if you guys tell me uh, on how to, you know, um, uh, load up a map, uh, a Custom Edition map. I'll probably make a uh, like a mini tutorial on how to get your Custom Edition map uh, working. If you guys, you know, show me how to. They've added a new feature called Exchange. Uh, if you guys don't know what Exchange is, they're basically going to be rotating items from previous seasons through each week. So for those who missed out on the previous seasons or you know you, you didn't unlock anything, uh, you can always check in the Exchange to see what you want to unlock. Uh, but there will be a limited of time, so you'll so always keep an eye out for that. Uh, this is a very good feature uh, made by T43. It's fair for others who haven't been grinding like crazy in the previous seasons or never just hardly played the game. They've added a thing where you can finally see a player on how much XP level he has uh, and on what tour or two uh, by clicking on player details. Uh, this is an awesome news for me uh, and for everyone, for everyone else because I get a lot of people asking me how much XP I have, and I also ask them. I always ask other people on how much. Uh, like speed they have too uh, so we no longer have to you know no longer need to keep asking each other uh, we can just click on on the profile you know to, to, to check the details or, or just search our name up uh, so this is great stuff you know they've added a uh, new season of challenges and most of uh, these uh, give you tons of XP uh, some of them uh, can take uh, a long time to complete uh, I'll probably make a video 
on how to beat some of the challenges quickly, maybe I'll probably make one. And they've also added another good option for custom games where in game you can finally, uh, finally change teams. Uh, previously you couldn't change teams in game so you had to leave the lobby just to change teams which was really frustrating at, at times. Uh, so I'm really happy they've added this option in game. We can just, uh, if you guys want to like uh, go to blue team, green team, red team, whatever, you can do that in game. You don't have to leave the game. Like, like the host doesn't need to leave the game just to change teams. We can all do it in custom games in game. They've also added the FRV slider for Xbox and uh, mouse and keyboard support for uh, consoles, which is so dope. Uh, so it's more like the PC version now almost. Uh, so, con so congrats on Xbox users, uh, users for getting these features. Uh, they have been waiting for for this for a while, so I'm really, you know, glad that they finally got these features. Okay, guys, I think that's it in today's video. Overall, I'm really impressed with the new update, uh, and you know, every update they push out, you know, it's, it's going to get better over time. Uh, what I'm really looking forward to to the next season uh, is mod support and the server browser. Uh, those are the two main big things I'm looking forward to. Uh, I know it's aggravating that the server browser never made it in, never made it into this season six update. Uh, but it's understandable, you know, Thief 3 really need to really need to take their time on it. Uh, if we are lucky, man, well, we might see the custom server browser this season 6 update. Depends how, uh, you know, how quick Thief 3 are, you know, getting the server browser up and running. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to stop the video here now. Uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And be sure to follow us on Twitch, guys. You know, go there, you know, uh, create, create a Twitch account if you guys haven't. And drop a follow on there, okay? Because we literally stream... Halo every day, uh, like literally every day, you can uh, hop in into our stream chat, you know, talk to us about Halo, you know, we're also about Halo, uh, you know, you can play Halo with us, you know, we're always going to be streaming there, so be sure to do that, and I'll see you Spartans in the next video, bye.